Dear friends, welcome to Friday Focus on Friday the 28th of January. Quite a lot to update you on today. First of all, Plan B restrictions will be lifted this Sunday. That means we'll no longer be required to wear masks when we come into church and we can socialise freely afterwards. We'll serve tea and coffee after the 10 o'clock and the 11 o'clock services. But please do be sensitive to those who still need to wear masks and remain socially distanced. Uh, we will allow more space at the back of St Matthew's and the Minster, and we suggest that those who want to remain masked sit in those seats. And please um, just allow them time to leave first if they want to. Secondly, we're running a parenting course, an online parenting course, um, which is actually being streamed by Holy Trinity Brompton on Monday the 21st of February for five weeks. It's a practical online course for anybody involved in parenting zero to ten year olds. Ali and on Ollie Smith are attending and they're organising a Zoom call for all the St Matt's attendees after each session to share um, their learnings. Uh, email Ollie for more uh, details, it's on the email today, and sign up via the htb.org slash parenting website. The Living Out Conference is tomorrow. Uh, it's for a number of churches in Cheltenham and in the area from 10 o'clock until 2.30. Uh, just to remind you, Living Out helps people, churches and society talk about faith and sexuality from a biblically orthodox point of view. And it encourages churches to think about how we can welcome and support same-sex attracted people. Ed Shaw from Emmanuel Church in Bristol is one of the speakers and you can hear a bit of his story on today's email. Please book today, Friday, if you'd like to come. Uh, bookings will close after today, costs £5, drinks are provided, but you will need to book your own lunch and you can book via the link on the email. Next, uh, Chris Nelson, the Gloucestershire Police and Crime Commissioner, is leading a drive against a loophole that allows licensed premises to offer unregulated sexual entertainment. You will know this is a big issue in our town at the moment. Bishop Rachel is the lead signatory and she's asked that we all add our name to this petition. Thousands of signatories are needed to make a difference, so please do sign yourself, pass on the message to friends and family. Again, the link on the email. It's the ninth anniversary of St Mary's Church being uh, commissioned as a minster on Saturday the 5th of February, and we are having a special concert uh, by the Minster Singers at 11 o'clock to celebrate uh, the anniversary. It's going to be a mixture of sacred and English folk music with some light refreshments afterwards. So do come along and celebrate the ninth birthday of the Minster uh, on Saturday the 5th of February. Finally, our annual parochial church meeting will be on Palm Sunday the 10th of April. We're going to have a joint service at St Matthew's at 10 o'clock. Uh, there will be no service at the Minster on that Sunday and it will be followed by a shared lunch for both congregations. More details will follow later. Please put the date in your diary. And just to say that uh, there are five vacancies for the PCC this year. So if you'd like to stand for election for our parochial church council, uh, do get in touch with me. I can give you more details. But we'd love to have a broad representation of our church family um, on the PCC. God bless you today.